77 yo it's sweetie c77 and i'm here with another video y'all this is crazy so first of all before i get into this video i'd like to give a shout out to roland martin i'm using the video from your show i watched it i subscribed to you and i like the video so hopefully you don't mind me giving my opinion on my channel using your clip sweetie c got some words for them Hey, Brian, can you just hold the camera real quick? Hey, come on out with your hands on. Yeah. Uh, just cut. Oh, I got a firearm. Okay, okay all right. Just come on out. You got a firearm in your hand? Yeah. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Okay, come on out here. Come on out. Come on out here. Just come on out for me. What you mean, come on just out? Just come on out of the house, please. I got all my drugs. Come on out of the house, okay? So he's coming down the stairs and he's telling the officer that he has only drawers on. And the officer said, come on down. So he can't put on no clothes? Nasty? Are you a nasty cop? Why won't you let this man put on any clothes? Common sense should tell you to give the man an opportunity to put on his clothes. I can tell you a weak cop already. Put your hand behind your back. So put your hand behind your back and get down on your knees. Put your hand, turn around, put your hand behind your back and get down on your knees. What? Turn around and face away from me. The man got his crack hanging out his drawers and y'all won't even let him get some clothes to put on. Are you serious? This is just disgraceful. Uh, turn around and face away from me. For what? Turn around and face away from me now. I didn't do nothing. Put your hand behind your back and face away from me. I got on drugs. You got to go to the supermarket. They're on the way. Put your hand. Hey, put your hand. For your what? Back. Tell me for what? We got a 4 alarm here. I got open door. I'm trying to make sure. Just... He got a 4 alarm. He got an open door. You ain't told him what, he, what you're in his house for? He don't know what a 4-4 alarm is. I don't know what a 4-4 alarm is, but you a snitch, so now we know what a 4-4 alarm is. You, you weak ass And that's y'all problem. Y'all got a tendency of arresting black people and not telling us why you stopping us. You automatically give us all these instructions and give me your ID, show. No, you need to tell me why you stopped me. No, the first thing you need to do is introduce yourself and then tell me why you stopped me. Why are you in my house? Talk to the alarm people. Okay. Put your, I just talk to the alarm people. Let me sort that out, okay? Now just put your hands behind. Okay, so he does know. He, he talked to alarm people. So if he spoke to alarm people, did the alarm people call you and tell you that everything was okay? Because, see, don't act like folks don't have alarms around here. My mom has alarms at her house. We've been having them for years. And if, if someone triggers the alarm, they give you a call and they give you a code. If you're able to provide their, that secret code, then the alarm is everything's good. Obviously, he hasn't checked. Or did he check? So. This shit is crazy. It's like y'all are anxious to use your tools. It's like you have to go out and, and, and find crime. No, that's not what you're there for. You're not supposed to look for crime. You're supposed to go to where there's actually a crime situation. See, these cops, they think they, they're heroes and, oh, I got me a black man. I got one. Let's, let's uh, take them in. I'm ready to start the booking process. Yeah, I did that. I did. You ain't... You Okay, just have a seat right here, okay? Just have a seat. Then you guys can run 10 for you. Just have a seat. Do you, what is your name? This is a big brother in handcuffs, and he, you want him to have a seat on the stairs? That brother's like, Okay. Do you live here? Yep. Okay. Do you have an ID? 
Yeah. So like I said, I got a call here for a 4-4 alarm, right? So I come here, the door's unlocked, right? I make announcements, no one answers. I can't hear you. Okay, I made several announcements, no one answers. Just, I can't hear you. Listen, just listen to me, okay? I made several announcements, right? Okay? So then you come downstairs. Why are you telling him this in handcuffs? Why couldn't you tell him this before? See, you're just wasting people's times with stupidity. You acting like you got you, you just figured out some case. What did you figure out? Because I'm still stunned as to why you're still standing there. Why haven't you gone and addressed a serious situation? See, that's why it takes y'all so long to arrive at certain locations. Because you're too busy harassing innocent people, innocent black people, innocent brown people. Got something in your hand, you're talking about the flare. I'm a club owner, people try to rob me every day. I, I get that, okay? Well, I'm giving you orders. Okay, you put the gun down. I'm just trying to figure out whether you're supposed to be here or not, okay? I'm not on drugs, bro. How the fuck you mean you're not supposed to be here? I Let me replay that for the people in the back that didn't hear. I get that, okay? Well, I'm giving you orders. Okay, you put the gun down. I'm just trying to figure out whether you're supposed to be here or not, okay? I'm not on drugs, bro. How the fuck you mean you're not supposed to be here? I, I understand that, okay? So I'm just trying to figure out who you are, all right, and whether you're supposed to be here or not. That, that's not the point, okay. bro. All right, just have a seat for me, okay? This shit is the craziest shit ever. This is my supervisor. This is Sergeant Gracie. Sorry, Gracie, uh, I made several announcements when I first got here. I was, there was there were no answers, okay? And then about five minutes later, I gave another announcement. He said, I'm inside. I gave him commands to come to the front. He came down the stairwell. He had a firearm in his hand. Oh, okay. so I house. told him to drop the firearm. He dropped the firearm. You can release the channel. Right? Yeah. I told him to then walk this way and turn around and put his hand behind his back. Okay. Um, the little, he didn't want to do that at first. I'm at home, bro. I don't know y'all killing people these days. I'm at home. I ain't bothering nobody. I stay in the house so I don't have to bother nobody. I'm a business owner. I see somebody coming to my door. Of course I'm going to come down with a fire. You're talking about come outside. You know what I mean? Seat. And it's out of seat. Like neighbors outside. Have a seat. So what am I, what is the Because we're going to clear the rest of the house. Have a seat. You're going to, who are you? You're not even listening. Okay, let's finish this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this whole situation. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Have a seat. Bro, what, how did y'all come to somebody's house to do this? Have a seat. What have I done wrong? Come on, let's get How have you done nothing wrong? Let's get step outside. Oh, let's get out of the Sir? Come on out. So I tend to get a little animated when I'm frustrated with situations. And this is not my personal situation, but this can happen to any one of us black folks, okay? Black people. This can happen to any one of us. For you to tell him to sit down and then you're going to put him in a police car and tell him you're going to clear the house, you see what they were doing? They were trying to justify a reason to arrest this man. Because if they were to find anything in that house, they were going to put it on him and they would put him in jail. And then they would say, oh, he had this and this and this. None of y'all should have been there. And you shouldn't have walked in his house looking through his house. You didn't clearly explain why you're still in his house. That's a disturbing scene. One, you would not let him put on any clothes. Y'all some nasty, nasty, weird cops. No, no, this is not acceptable. Y'all cannot come in our house for no damn reason talking about you want to search and we didn't even do nothing wrong. And I'm saying we because you're going to do it to someone else and who is just like a any, meeny, miny, mo type of situation for y'all. These are, these are our lives. We're innocent. We're not doing anything. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do. You're not supposed to get mad because there's no crime. You should be, that's when you should be doing your drills and, and taking 
some type of class on how to better better handle situations. If you're not accustomed to being around black people, you do not need to be in our neighborhood, period. We don't need no cops that don't have never lived around black folks or brown folks that come from these small towns to be working in, the, in a place full of diversity. You have no reason to be there because, see, you're living life through your films that you're watching. And you think that you know everything based off of a 40-minute video. No, you don't. You think you know everything based off of what you see on Fox News. No, you don't. You're in violation. All y'all should be fired, period. He needs to sue the police, and y'all need to quit harassing us and quit trying to make us pay for your toys that you like to play and use on us. You need to understand what you're here for. This ain't here for you to be on TV, to be famous, and, and to be the, 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 the head hero in the neighborhood, you're supposed to want to literally keep each community safe within reason. If that's not your purpose for being a cop, you need to get the hell out of the force. You don't deserve to be there. You don't deserve to have a badge because we contribute to y'all's paychecks. And um, I don't want to contribute anymore because y'all are proving that you're attacking us. You're attacking us. You're trying to find reasons to attack us and it needs to stop d d no boo boo where where y'all y'all can't speak so let us speak okay let us speak for you good cops y'all holding the good cops down for these racist folks you need to get these racist folks out and let the good cops who actually enjoy doing their job who actually enjoy getting to know the community do their freaking job and quit trying to put uh numbers on tickets and how many tickets you need to get and how many people you need to arrest, and this is your quota. We are not quotas, okay? Our life is not a quota. Get it together. I, I need y'all to get y'all judicial system together, okay? White people, y'all need to get, y'all need diversity because y'all don't overstand. And all, not no Uncle Tom diversity. No, you need diversity as far as people who actually care about other people in their lives. I said enough. All right. So thank you everyone for, for watching. Um, I'm going to make sure I put the link to my website from an African's perspective on, um, on this video so I can, um, post, you know, just different content from different individuals, giving their perspective on things. As you can see, um, I'm really passionate about these types of videos. I'm really passionate about how you know, there's nothing worse than being innocent. I'm very passionate about these things. And I just want to give my opinion because I got to let it out. It's just too much going on. It's a lot of stress on us black people. And, um, yeah, so it's Sweetie C77. Yo, it's Sweetie C. Now what? Talk to you later.